As much as we love our furry companions, not all dog breeds are created equal in the eyes of the law. In some countries, certain breeds are banned due to concerns over public safety, aggression, or even health issues. Will the American Pit Bull Terrier make the list, or the rare, controversial Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog? These are the 20 most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Rottweiler these strong, powerful dogs are descended from the Mastiffs of the Roman legions, so these pooches certainly do have some pedigree, and you should see the guys when they're puppies. For Pete's sake, they're just too adorable with their fluffy coat and outsized puppy paws. These lovely dogs will be gentle family members and loyal protectors, and they're some handsome hounds with their short, shiny black coat and rust color markings, thick and muscular hindquarters and powerful frames. They really do look like the mutts nuts. With proper training and good socialization, these beautiful dogs will become confident, calm, and brave, and will only be aggressive toward a perceived threat. But the sight of a solid Rottweiler is generally just enough to put off all but the most determined of intruders. As companions and pets, Rottweilers are playful and energetic, and they need a lot of exercise and love. These guys just love to clamber up onto your lap for a good cuddle as well. The whole 130 pounds of them, you know. They're also employed with some regularity as police dogs because their temperament seemingly is suitable for the intimidating presence that the police exploit with the use of these dogs. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. German Shepherd the intensely loyal and highly trainable German Shepherd is one of the most enduringly popular breeds of dog for more than a hundred years. These brave and clever animals have served in the police, the armed forces, and as faithful family pets. German Shepherds are agile and, as long as they're well cared for, very fit and powerful dogs. That's just one of the reasons that these good-looking creatures make such effective working dogs. Just make sure that you're not on the wrong side of a situation that involves a police dog, because police these dogs are trained to grab on with their teeth and not let go. Ouch! The use of highly trained dogs by police is an ethically murky area. Although the dog's extraordinary sense of smell is a great benefit in search and rescue operations, that's a very different thing than training a dog to attack people and possibly cause them serious bodily harm. A dog will follow the instructions of its handler and do whatever they've been trained to do in order to collar that criminal. So what you gonna do when they come for you? Number 18. Cane Corso the Cane Corso, also known simply as the Corso, Cane in Italian just means dog. These loyal animals are a bit of a handful, and although they definitely make excellent guard dogs, they're also difficult to train and are not for the novice dog owner. They need a decent outside space with very effective fences or walls and will require plenty of exercise. These intelligent dogs are easily bored, and frankly, you don't really want a big bored cross dog on your hands, do you? They'll find their own entertainment and it's likely going to involve a whole lot of mischief. The Cane Corso is a big and muscly dog. The male of the breed can measure around 27 inches at the withers, with the females at about 26, and they can weigh anywhere between 90 and 120 pounds, so it's probably not the best choice as a lap dog, but they'll certainly provide a good menacing deterrent for any would-be shenanigans doer with malicious intent. Number 17. Staffordshire Bull Terrier Known amongst their legions of fans as Amstaffs, they're sassy, smart, and good-natured. These courageous little canines are all about the companionship. If you train them well and take good care of them, then these special dogs will stand by your side through hell and high water. The trustworthy American Staffordshire Terrier is a stocky breed with powerful and defined muscles and the cheekbones of a Hollywood idol. They're agile and confident and highly trainable. 
which is one of the reasons that this breed is an enduringly popular pet and companion. This lovable breed didn't have the most auspicious beginnings in life. These dogs were originally bred in Great Britain to be fighting dogs. Dog fighting is a blood sport that is now mercifully illegal, and the dogs were bred to be as aggressive and powerful as possible in order to maim and likely murder their opponents. So during the 18th and 19th centuries, these and other bull-type terrier breeds were set upon one another to fight to the death, or they were simply put up against larger animals like bulls and bears and trained to attack. Just why this was considered entertainment? Well, that's a mystery to me, but this is their legacy, and these days the Amstaff is a loving and playful breed far removed from its exploited and violent history. Number 16. American Bulldog American Bulldogs, not to be confused with English Bulldogs, are descendants of the bull-baiting dogs that were used in that filthy blood sport that was popular in the 18th century. It is with this historical baggage that this breed has been viewed with suspicion by people in the present. As such, this is why this dog is illegal in most countries. Well, actually not most countries, but a few. These include Belarus, Bermuda, Denmark, Italy, Singapore, Turkey, Ukraine, and Venezuela. There are also several states in America where the American Bulldog is currently banned, which includes Arkansas, Colorado, Missouri, Nebraska, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Puerto Rico, Texas, Washington, and West Virginia. Each of these places has different rules for what the ban of ownership actually means, but it's fair to say that the American Bulldog is not exactly considered welcome in many places. In general, this breed is a confident and lively dog that will form a strong bond with their owners. Many people keep them as farm dogs with guarding duties, and they're fiercely loyal and may be trained to be less friendly to strangers. The thing is, though, that like pretty much all dogs, the American Bulldog is only as good as its owner. If it's well taken care of, well trained and controlled, then this breed should be no more dangerous than any other. But if, however, they're trained to be aggressive, then that is what they're going to do. And it's not exactly rocket science, people. Number 15. Tibetan Mastiff the somewhat aloof and decidedly challenging Tibetan Mastiff is not a regular pet pooch. While they will make excellent guard dogs in the right situation, these dogs are really quite unusual and very tricky to train, not to mention that they have some personality stuff going on as well. If they grow up in a human family, these dogs are loyal and loving, but they are extremely wary of strangers, even down to being very choosy over who, if anyone, they will actually allow to enter the home. Now, if you are an especially paranoid individual or just someone who hates visitors, then perhaps this is exactly the dog you're looking for. But if you have any aspirations for a social life, or for your children to have friends even, then the Tibetan Mastiff may be a bit too sensitive for your requirements. These dogs are going to interpret any kind of noisy or boisterous behavior as threatening, and may behave in an aggressive manner to someone that they don't like. And these dogs also have a tendency to make up their minds about people, and then act accordingly. Oh, and they don't really give you any opportunity to explain yourself either. So, you have been warned. Warned, brilliantly loyal and extremely efficient as a watchdog, the Tibetan Mastiff does not play well with others and will likely as not land you in a whole heap of doggy doo at the park. Number 14. Gol Dong well, regrettably, this is not a hilarious bird schlong, but rather a regular sort of dog, with a ridiculous name nonetheless. This breed hails from an area of what was, at the time, British colonial India, but which is now part of modern Pakistan. It was developed over 120 years ago to be a fighting dog, This is the sad reality for many of these breeds. They were deliberately created to do violence at the behest of gross humans who took sick pleasure in the carnage of this so-called sport. Nowadays, however, the Gull Dong can be found as a working dog or a guard dog. They are agile and intelligent, extremely loyal, and can even grow up to about 140 pounds. The Gull Dong needs an experienced owner in order to train it successfully. Number 13. Blue Nose Pitbull 
These lovable pooches are either American Staffordshire Terriers or American Pitbull Terriers, but they're distinguished by their specific genetics that result in a bluish colored coat. Blue nosed pit bulls and their other hued pit bull compatriots are sassy, smart, and good natured. These courageous little canines are all about the companionship. If you train them well and take good care of them, then these special dogs will stand by your side through hell and high water. The trustworthy blue nosed pit bull is a stocky breed with powerful and defined muscles and cheekbones of a Hollywood idol. They're agile and confident and highly trainable, which is one of the reasons that the breed is enduringly popular as a pet and companion. They have a history of being regarded as a nanny dog on the account of their loyal guard dog abilities. The lovable breed did not have the most auspicious beginning in life though. These dogs were originally bred in Great Britain to be fighting dogs. Dog fighting is a blood sport that is now mercifully illegal and the dogs were bred to be as aggressive and powerful as possible in order to maim and likely kill their opponents. So during the 18th and 19th centuries, these and other type of bull terrier breeds were set upon one another to fight to the death or simply put up against larger animals like bulls and bears and trained to attack. Just why this was considered entertainment is a mystery, but this is their legacy. These days, the dogs are loving and playful, far removed from their exploited and violent history. Number 12. Dogo Argentino Massive and muscular, the Dogo Argentino cuts an imposing figure. These huge hounds are hunters and working dogs at heart, and the dog is also known as the Argentinian Mastiff or the Argentine Dogo. They were bred to be hunters, they're very skilled in bringing down massive wild boar and other big game, and the breed was developed from fighting dogs having a long history of ancestors that were pretty aggressive and violent to be fair. But their fans maintain that the Dogo Argentino has had all of that dogfighting aggression bred out of it by now, although I wouldn't want to find out the hard way that there was even just a teeny weeny bit of residual aggression left over, would you? Just look at the size of the things. These big guys also find themselves working for the police and the army, but perhaps, given their propensity to hunt prey of all sizes, their skills are best used when they're trained as rescue dogs. It is so very important that this powerhouse of muscle and willpower is really well trained right from puppyhood because you seriously don't want an out of control Dogo Argentino on the rampage. These massive dogs are considered dangerous and owning this breed is even forbidden in some countries, so probably not the right pet for just anyone then. Number 11, Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is a big breed of dog that hails from Japan. The word Inu means dog in Japanese. These magnificent canines were originally bred for dog fighting. Their breeders created this dog from bulldogs, mastiffs, and Great Danes. And you can certainly see some of these big breeds' characteristics in the huge hulking creatures. A rare breed, the Tosa Inu almost disappeared entirely when, during the tumultuous years of the Second World War, they became almost extinct. But they were brought back from the brink by dedicated fans and continue to be loved even to this day. Like warriors or great historic figures, these dogs were often presented in ceremonial costume. The idea of the dogs was really just to create a massive fighting machine, and although the breed is not supposed to be aggressive towards people, they can be. These huge dogs are likely to take a disliking to other animals and can be very dangerous to dogs in particular. They just kind of can't help it though, they were built to be that way. Owners have to be super vigilant and extremely good at controlling this animal, which is no mean feat because the dogs are massive and incredibly strong. They're considered a dangerous breed to such the extent that the Tosa is literally banned in some countries. Number 10, Perro de Presa Canario. This is a dog that is such a fearless guardian that it's really not recommended for anyone except the most experienced of dog owners. It's a huge responsibility to take care of any dog, but one of the size and sheer strength as this one is quite a different matter. In fact, the breed is banned in many places around the world, which is why you probably have never heard of it.
These dogs love to work for their owners, and they need a strong leader or else they're going to take the lead themselves as they have a naturally strong and dominant temperament. Often used as a cattle dog, the breed is yet another which has a disastrous history in dog fighting. In fact, it was used as such in the Canary Islands until as recently as the 1950s. Number 9. Doberman Pinscher the super alert, peaky eared Doberman Pinscher was developed back in the 19th century Germany to be an aggressive protection animal. These pups have a reputation as being a fearsome guard dog, but when they're properly trained, Dobermans are loyal and calm companions. Muscular and powerful, the Doberman is fast and agile. They've long been successful show dogs and are obedient, fearless guardians. Dobermans have served as working dogs in the U.S. Army, and the U.S. Marine Corps Dobermans of World War II became famous for their work alongside troops in the Pacific. They were known as Devil Dogs, and sadly, 25 of these noble soldier animals lost their lives in the battle for Guam. Loyal service is not uncommon amongst the breed, whether as a police dog, search and rescue worker, or even protecting private homes, the Doberman Pinscher is a dependable dog with an elegant appearance and an imposing presence. You would definitely think twice before bothering one of these chaps. Even their impressive deep bark may be sufficient enough to put off any would-be troublemakers. Number 8. Fila Brasileiro this historic dog was bred in Brazil all the way back several centuries ago when it was used primarily as a large game hunting animal and a working dog. These canines have their roots very firmly in the tradition of service and guardianship, and since the phrase faithful as a fila exists in Brazil, there can be no denying the loyalty of this large breed. These dogs go by many names. They may be known as Fila Brasileiro, the Brazilian Mastiff, Cal de Brasil, Cal de Fila, the Brazilian Bloodhound, or simply the fila. But whatever you may choose to call them, this purebred dog is a large, energetic, and headstrong animal. However, beware. Their sheer size combined with a tricky personality means that this is not a breed for everyone. They can be aggressive if they're not properly trained, and that personality can make training them a bit of a challenge unless you're a very experienced handler of large dogs. It's also worth checking whether or not it's actually legal to own one of these dogs where you live. Some countries consider the dog to be a dangerous one and have therefore banned the breeding and sale of this pooch. They're currently on the naughty list in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Norway, and Denmark. And owners of the breed in the United States may run into issues with insurance if they have this breed in their homes. Despite the fact that the dog is an effective guard dog, insurance companies are likely to cancel a homeowner's policy. So bringing one of them might be asking for trouble. Number 7. The Boer Bowl The Boer Bowl is one huge dog. It's also one with a name that I've probably mispronounced. These are the bodybuilders of the canine world, and their bulky, stocky bodies are all power. So beware of this dog. These big dogs hail from South Africa, where they're often used as protection on remote homesteads. And there are, after all, a whole bunch of wild animals in South Africa. You know, like lions and leopards just strolling along the countryside. Considered a dangerous dog in many countries of the world, this one is actually banned in several places. These big guys do have a bit of a reputation for being a great guard dog, but also a little bit of a thug. They're very loyal and won't back down when threatened. In fact, the dogs have been known to get into a bit of a pickle with big cats and leopards, and they are fearless in the face of danger. This is why they're often chosen to be a guard dog, but that bravery does come with potential aggression toward other animals and people that the dog doesn't know. That can be a dangerous combination, so these big beasts need to be very well trained, and their owners have to be extremely responsible people, or else things could easily go very wrong very fast. Just look at the muscles on these dogs. Historically, this dog was a war dog, and there's a good reason that they were chosen for that particularly violent job. It's because they're massive, and males, well, they can easily weigh up to about 200 pounds. Wow! Number 6. Kangal. Considered by many to be the national dog of Turkey, the Kangal is intimidatingly large and has all the features that you would expect from a dog that has traditionally been bred for the protection of livestock. 
Although not a herding dog, the Kangal is a flock guardian and is known for its ability to protect its wards from really massive predators like bears, wolves, and jackals, so the breed has guard dog DNA flowing all throughout its veins. In the United States, the dogs that are closely related to the Kangal are known as Antolian Shepherd Dogs, and nowadays these dogs are a popular choice to protect livestock all over the U.S. Way back in the Babylonian Empire, there were references to this breed's ancestors in the ancient art that was created during those times. That dates back to 2000 BC, people. These guys even turn up in biblical stories. By the 1950s, American ranchers were importing these big working dogs, and they've become a firm favorite during the following decades. The beautiful hounds work tirelessly, protecting livestock all over the states, with animals from sheep to llamas and ostriches in their care. And since they're even brave enough to send a wolf running for the hills, there's no doubt that these animals are amongst the greatest of guard dogs out there. Number 5. Wolf Dog For some people, you know, mostly the crazy ones, the idea of a wolf as a pet is just utterly irresistible. Despite the fact that a wolf is certainly not a polite housemate and is very much a wild animal with some distinctly malodorous habits, there's still a real appetite to tame the wolf and bring it into their homes. So the wolf-dog hybrid is a thing. This breeding of wolves with domestic breeds of dogs attempts to take a little bit of the beast out of the animal and make it less likely to tittle all over your soft furnishings. First of all, it's important to know that it is illegal to go out into the wild and just steal yourself a wolf. It would be foolhardy and most definitely extremely bad manners. And so the next best thing to do, if you're hell-bent on a pet that might eat you, is to get your very own wolf dog. These animals are oftentimes indistinguishable from their wild, fully wolf brethren, but they do have a little bit of the domestic breed in them for good measure. These domestic breeds tend to be German Shepherd, Siberian Husky, or Alaskan Malamute, and these breeds are all wolfish enough so as not to water down the wilder looks of the wolf itself. It should be noted as well that the wolves used to create these these mixed breed animals are from a population of captive wolves, so it's hard to say whether there's enough of the old wild wolf left to howl at the moon. Number 4. Caucasian of Charka these brave and fiercely loyal dogs are strong and stubborn working animals. Bred to guard sheep and to protect people against wild animals, in the mountain regions of Russia, these are some tough dogs from one of the toughest terrains on Earth. They're so fearless, in fact, that these dogs are prepared to step up against bears and wolves. This is not a shrinking violet, that's for sure. Because of this extraordinary bravery and strength, these dogs can be rather tricky to train. They need a patient and experienced owner, or they can be quite aggressive, but this is because their breeding has selected this trait. As a guardian and protector, they don't come more loyal than this dog, so if you're experienced with dogs and perhaps have a wolf problem, you know, we've all been there, then this breed is the best one there is. In their history, these dogs have patrolled mountainsides, protected flocks from predators, and they've been used in prisons and were even the dog choice to guard the Berlin Wall in the east. So you could say these incredible animals can pretty much handle anything, right? Number 3. Husky even though huskies are definitely beautiful, they are also a lot of work. Unless, of course, you happen to live in the Arctic tundra, in which case they will do a lot of work for you. But most of us don't live in such chilly and expansive landscapes, so generally huskies are not the optimum choice for a pet pooch. In fact, even if it is actually legal to own one, you may find it difficult to find a place to live if you happen to have it. They are often subject to being banned in apartment buildings, and this is simply because they're a medium-sized dog and therefore subject to a ban based on their size. However, sometimes huskies are specifically banned because they can be really noisy and kind of destructive. But then they're also a working dog that needs an enormous amount of exercise in order to be fulfilled, so being cooped up in an apartment is going to cause them great discomfort and a whole lot of frustration. So don't get a husky just because you think they're cute, they need to run like all day long, or they may just end up eating your couch. Number 2. St. Bernard 
Anyone who's ever seen the Beethoven movies can't help but fall for these super cute, extremely slobbery big dogs with massive personalities to match. These beautiful, gentle animals do get their name from Switzerland's Hospice St. Bernard, where they were originally kept to guard the grounds. It was in this mountainous region that the clever, faithful St. Bernard was also used as a guardian sent to find and rescue lost and injured travelers in the dangerous terrain. The lovable St. Bernard is a life-saving legend, and records from the hospice do show that these incredible dogs saved over 2,000 people from the treacherous mountain pass. These days, the big gentle dogs are popular as family pets, for those with a lot of space, that is. These guys love to have room to stretch out. This is a 180-pound pet, after all. They also prefer a cooler climate because they are mountain dogs that were bred to withstand the cold, so they don't exactly enjoy the heat and it's not exactly good for them. They also slobber a whole lot, so if you're concerned by a mess, this hairy big drool machine is likely not the best choice, but they do love you and protect you and your family and just look at that face. Number 1. Chow Chow Apparently, in some parts of the United States, the fluffy and innocent-looking Chow Chow is considered a dangerous dog and is therefore banned. Amongst the reasons given for that label is that they are territorial. Like many dogs, Chow Chows can be fiercely protective of their families. They can be aggressive to other dogs, they have strong hunting instincts, and they may attack and kill other animals. Basically, these dogs have a whole lot of instincts that can put them in situations where they may act upon those things and cause harm to animals or people. They are, like many of the dogs on our list, in need of a really good training and experienced owner for their own protection as much as anyone else's. Well, I hope you enjoyed this closer look at some of the dogs that have been given labels and sent to the dog house over their reputations. Ultimately, it seems as though there really are no such things as a bad dog, but there are plenty of bad dog owners. What do you think? As always, let me know about all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.